So for, um, for number nine, we are drawing these curves here. So y squared is equal to x and x is equal to 2y. We're drawing these curves, finding the area between them, and then we're revolving that area about the y-axis. So let's, let's draw this here. And then we have, we're first going to draw our curve y squared is equal to x. Um, now this one here is just a, it looks like a parabola, but it opens up on the x-axis. So we're going to, um, it has the same, it has the same proportions. One, two, three, four, two. And go something like this. So that is y squared is equal to x. And now let's draw x is equal to 2y. So we have the point 0, 0. And then when, uh, when y is equal to, let's see, when uh, y is equal to 2, x is equal to 4. So we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, and connect these lines. Uh, so I'm going to have to zoom in so you guys can see that the area between them is this little section here. And we're going to revolve it about the y-axis. So um, to revolve it, it kind of looks, let's see, it kind of looks something like this. These little disks, right? Where, so we're summing up these um these donut shaped things from from the two points where they intersect now they intersect and let's just check this so we'll we'll set these curves equal to each other just to see what they they intersect so we have that um and I, and I didn't write this uh let's see 2y I should have written that uh x is equal to 2y here and now we're going to set these equal to each other just so that we find the bounds of integration. So we have that um, y squared is equal to 2y. Um, I'm going to bring the 2y to the left. So y squared minus 2y is equal to 0. Factor it. Therefore, y is, is equal to 0 or y is equal to 2. So our integral is going to be from 0 to 2, right? And what we're integrating is... Um, the area, let's shade that in, we're integrating this area over here in blue, right? We're integrating all of this stuff. So to find this area in blue, it's like, um, and maybe I should, I should just color this in. So to find this area in blue, it's like we're taking the, the area of the outer radius, right? The, the bigger part of the disk, minus the area of the smaller radius. But the outer radius, we can see that it's where it touches the green curve. So the line x is equal to 2y, that is going to be our radius. So um, the, maybe I'm going to call, I'm going to call this the, the out, outer area is equal to pi times r squared. But r is given by this curve, right? So by 2y squared. And the inner area is given by wherever it, uh, it touches the pink curve. So like the smallest little disk. So is pi times y squared squared. So we can see that we're summing up the outer minus the inner from 0 to 2. So let's, um, let's set up our integral. This is when we move a little bit downwards. Um, we're going to say that this is the integral from, from 0 to 2 of the outer area, which is pi times 2y squared minus the lower area. So the inner area, sorry, pi times um, y squared squared which is equal to the integral. Uh, we're going to remove pi outside because it's a constant. 0 to 2, and that is, let's see, um, that is 
4y squared minus y to the power of 4 and all of this times dy because we're expressing th these curves um, as functions of y. So all we have to do now is integrate and then apply our boundaries. So this is pi times 4y cubed over 3 minus y to the power of 5 over 5, which is equal to pi. Um, sorry, I should have done the boundaries from 0 to 2, which is equal to pi times 2 cubed is 8. So uh, 4 times 8 is 32. That is 32 over 3 minus 2 to the power of 5 is also 32, 32 over 5. And we're not going to evaluate the lower boundary because it's just 0. Um, these terms are going to disappear. So we just have uh, 32 over 3 minus 32 over 5. Let's see what that gives us. Um, times pi, right? So this is 64 pi over 15 cubic units. And that is what we get when we take this area and we revolve it about the, the y-axis. So all we did was we took the area of the bigger ring, uh, whose radius is defined by the curve 2y, minus the area of the smaller ring, whose radius is defined by y squared, and we subtracted those areas and then we summed up uh, these donuts from 0 to 2.